evening and thanks for being with us here on Wisconsin tonight. This is a great time of year to remember those in uniform serving around the world. Absolutely, but for some who were in uniform, the memories are often ones they would rather forget, right. such as memories of the biggest battle of World War II, the Battle of the Bulge, which took place exactly 70 years ago. For one Green Bay man, it just doesn't seem that long ago. 70 years ago, Russ Hornstra was a 24-year-old platoon sergeant. Time hasn't faded his memory. 70 years ago today at 5.15 in the morning. You still remember the time. I can still remember the time, you bet, boy. Front lines of the European campaign's most savage battle. They hit us with them big guns right off the bat in our bunkers. We had them made out of big trees and that. They just blew them things all to pieces. After the artillery barrage, scores of Nazi troops poured through their lines. We could see them coming by the thousands up there, and we thought, oh my God, we're, we're done. Surrender or death, the only option. They just took to work and confiscated our rifles and everything else and took them away from took all our equipment. They left us there to die is what they done. After a week of misery, a daring escape plan. Walk right through German lines looking like Nazis. We took the uniforms off the dead Germans and put what we could over top of our things and, and like the trench coats and stuff that they had. Free from capture, but still victims of the weather. Rain and snow and, and miserable weather. Well, it was in the 10s and 20s the degrees, and then some days it would be below zero. Brutal conditions, but nothing compared to German artillery barrages, such as the day in the Hurricane Forest. Out of a thousand of us, there was probably maybe 30 or 40 if there was that many of us that left. Russ's luck did run out in a double dose of misfortune. Well, I got hit. I got up and threw my rifle down, threw my pack off, and I said to the sergeant and the lieutenant, I said, I'm getting the hell out of this place. And I walked down the hill, and another 15 minutes, I was hit again. Wounded twice with souvenirs as relics, but minor compared to the fate of so many others. About 90% of my guys are over there yet. They never came home. Which means... At my age of 94, I guess I'm lucky. 94. He sure is. Isn't he amazing? He is. Wounded that... twice within 15 minutes, serious wounds, serious injuries, mm -hmm. bounced back, and look at him at 94 years old. He looks great.